Good morning, everyone. Today, I wanted to show you guys my skincare routine. I don't do the skincare routine every day. I probably do it like every other day, and then sometimes I'll do it every day. It just really depends how I feel, if my face feels dirty. I don't like cleaning my face every day because I like to keep those natural oils on them because those are very important. But I feel like if you use makeup, then like you're gonna have to do this every day because your face is gonna be dirty. But the, the reason why I don't is because I don't put anything on my face other than what I'm about to show you. All right, so let's dive right in. I'm gonna start off first with the 11.5. This is going to open up my pores and it's going to get in there so that way I can then go in with my towel and just wipe everything away. It's going to wipe off all the oils off my face. I then massage it in my face. Make sure you have clean hands while you're doing this. Ah, bro, I keep forgetting I have a nose ring. Yesterday, I like almost pulled out the whole thing on accident. So yeah, now that it's been sitting on my face for a little bit and I massaged it in, I'm gonna go in with my towel. You have to be careful with your face, but to an extent. Obviously, when your skin is dry, don't rub it hard. So once you're done with that, this is the last time I'm gonna use a towel. I'm not gonna use a towel again. I just use it for the 11.5, that's it. So now my face feels clean. But now I'm gonna go in with the 2.5. It's antibacterial. It's known to kill every single pathogen. It kills like salmonella, E. coli, a bunch of viruses. So yes, I wash my food with this too because you never know who touches it in the produce section. I have to like feel around the food to know which one I'm gonna buy. I know other people do the same thing. So that's why it's important because especially during flu season, I didn't get sick. I didn't get the flu this last winter I didn't get anything I got like a little bit of congestion for like a few days but it went away it was nothing so what the 2.5 is going to do it's going to clean my skin it's gonna do what soap does without the soap and without all the extra added chemicals it's basically going to prevent me from getting any pimples right now my pores are open so it's gonna go in there it's going to just kill everything that could possibly cause me to get a pimple the 2.5 is also really good at tightening your skin so it's going to help prevent those wrinkles from coming in once I'm older it's amazing especially on the nose part since that's where I have my nose ring obviously I want to disinfect it and I also go in I like to do that because people like to do that saline nose wash. I don't do that. I'm planning on doing it with the 2.5, but for now, like I just spray inside my nose and it works just as fine. So now I'm gonna go get a toilet paper thing so I can show you guys how I clean my nose ring. This is how I do the toilet paper thing. I spray it with the 2.5, make sure my nose is wet, and then I just go in there. Wow, I'm surprised that it's like clean. It doesn't have anything. It's hard to look through the camera though. I'll try to pull it out a little so I can get in there. Oh, another thing about the 2.5, apparently it, it was used in World War One or two, I can't remember, but um, probably both. But it helps uh, promote healing, so it helps your body heal faster. So you can use it on wounds, you can use it on insect bites, just a bunch of different things. I like to go upwards and out because that's basically how the lymphatic drainage works. You go upwards, out, and then up here you go upwards, down, upwards, down, into your neck and then they drain all into the nose. But it goes further from there. I'm gonna do a separate video on a full body lymphatic drainage. So stay tuned for that. At this stage, I just let it dry. So I kind of just go like this until it dries. Sometimes I'll just go do something, come back five minutes later and it's dry. All right guys, I'm back. Next step is the 6.0. Remember I said our skin's between a five and a seven. So it's important to maintain our skin pH. So the last product you put on your face always, always, always should be this pH range. This is going to tone your face, it's going to close all your pores, and it's just going to hydrate your face. So it's on my face. I'm going to massage it, like I said, once more. This skincare routine literally cost me no more than like $10 every six months because this is the only thing I buy. So this is Organic jojoba oil. It's like the oil that most closely resembles your natural face oils So you can feel confident that it's not going to clog your pores and it's not going to cause you to break out It's not going to look oily. I love it because it especially does not make my face look oily like coconut oil does and The bad thing about coconut oil too is that it does clog your pores Because I used to use it on my face and I remember when I used it I broke out so bad 
the specific one i think they don't sell it anymore so i ordered a different one i'll have the link down below so you can go purchase it make sure you buy organic stuff especially if you're putting it on your skin because your skin is your largest organ and it's actually your third kidney because it's the filtration system of your body like i said the lymphatic system while it's still wet i go ahead and i put two pumps i put it around my hands and i start massaging it in my face so when it comes to this i don't really go upwards and out i kind of just massage it in a little circle to like really get it in there i go down into my neck and like even i can feel it like when i feel here it's like sensitive more sensitive than anything else and that's because that's where your lips are I like massaging my eyebrows outwards. I feel like it stimulates the hair growth and I feel like they're thicker now. Like the hairs, I don't know. They used to be so thin. You could barely see them so I would always fill them in. And I don't know if maybe I just got accustomed to like looking at my face with no drawn on eyebrows, but I don't know. I like how they look now. Honestly, the 6.0 alone, I feel like works. I just really like using Jehovah oil. I'm used to how it makes my face feel. It gives you kind of like a glossy look at the same time. Not that the 6.0 doesn't do that. I just feel more confident just because I do want to avoid getting wrinkles when I get older. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the next step. I have the oil on my face. My face is clean. It's ready to go, but we got one more step. I ordered this box off Amazon. It is a gua sha, or I think that's how you say gua sha, and a pink quartz roller. So first I like to go in with this. This is going to simulate your lymphatic system. You don't have to put too much pressure. So what I do is I go up and then I go to the sides. And like, I can even feel the little balls under my face. Some people like to put it in the freezer because when it's cold, it's even better. And I haven't done that yet. It's very good. For when you wake up and you have puppy eyes, it's like, it helps bring those down. Make sure you always bring it down into your neck too. There's a technique to this. It comes with the instructions. I'll link the link to this down below as well. Once I'm done with this one, I go in with the gua sha and do pretty much the same thing. I like how it has the little curve. Don't put too much pressure, but yeah, just kind of go like that. I hope this helps with my bags. I have yet to see a difference. Sometimes I'll wake up with pretty big bags. I have to figure out like why I get bags. Like I've had them all my life. I remember second grade I had like horrible bags. They've definitely gotten better. I still have them. Once I figure out how to get rid of them, I'll let you guys know for sure. I'm working on it. That's pretty much it. I just ended up cleaning up the washes with the 2.5. I just spray it all around and I just wipe it off with my towel. And then I just put it back in where it goes and that's it. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you all learned kind of a new zero waste way to wash your face because yes, these are plastic, but I'm not gonna buy these again, I'm, I guess until they break or something, which I highly doubt that's gonna happen. And the Jehovah oil is glass, so that can be recycled. And you can even repurpose it, you can use it to put water in it and like put essential oils in it and just use it for something else. This is pretty much a zero waste skincare routine. It's a very healthy skincare routine. You can feel confident that you're not going to be putting any products or just any nasty stuff on your face. And it's going to feel clean, it feels, it's going to feel soft. My face hasn't felt this soft in ages, like since I was freaking, like not even middle school, because I remember middle school I had a bunch of little bumps on my forehead. But hope you guys enjoyed and uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want to learn how I do a full body lymphatic drainage, just make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the little notification bell so once I do get that video uploaded, you'll get a notification. You can tune in ASAP.